So crazy, man. They got the shoes, man. But, yo, they did yeah. kill the shoes, didn't they? Wow, they put a string through the... Yeah. That's yeah. really crazy. They really did it up, man. Dude, they actually made... Okay, they so made a bracelet. I thought and they watch. just, like, put a bunch of beads on it and kind of sewed it in, but they... Yeah, they gave him a bracelet. That's crazy, man. Look at this. Wow. Thing. This is cool. It's That's like, crazy. It's cool, man. It really is cool. So we did order Pip, and we ordered Pip in the same uh, fur tone just so that they match. Yeah. My grandfather, uh, Ralph, used to wear velour shirts, like, all the time. So the fact that it came as, like, that velour feel just made me happy, you know? That's awesome. Like an homage to him. Yeah, I was going to say. That's a small detail that I can never specify. I'm excited to have Todd and Pip together. Yeah, I'm excited to see Pip. And I'm excited to see how they do the star and yeah. the keys and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then I keep finding myself like searching for great accessories so I can. I, I, <laughs> I literally was looking for star clips the other day. Yeah. We have Tim, who's the fox with the gardening tool. Yeah. So I'm drawing um Tim right now, and I'm kind of giving him like really big gloves. I just imagine him with gloves. Yes. And I don't know what the name of the tool is that is sort of shaped like a pizza slicer so i imagine just i know gardeners sort of have gloves on so i'm drawing tim with like big rubber gloves uh and sort of an oversized shirt and then shorts very similar to what tot has but i'm gonna give him um boots almost look like rain boots yeah but uh he's just out here um very outdoorsy uh and then he would definitely have the same sort of tail as our other fox character, which I think is my your sister. sister. Yeah, yeah, um, spirited fox. Baby. Yeah, so the I like to put differentiating details on their face. Yeah. So even though there's two fox characters, you know which is which. And Tim's would definitely be the fact that he's always wearing a hat and you can't see his eyebrows. So yeah. most of the characters, you'd be able to see the eyebrows. Tim's face is always partially obscured by a hat. If you see it right here. That's kind of what I came up with. I love that. Yeah. When it comes to children's media, you want to make sure that when a character looks sad, it's very obvious that they're sad. When they're angry, it's very obvious that they're angry. Uh, Ed Catmull talked about this. I might have talked about this last time we recorded. He said that animation and cartooning is a universal form of communication because regardless of language barrier, you can understand emotions by observing them on people's faces. So I'm going to give her like a real big uh, hair piece in front. Very similar to what Pip has, but yep. a little more round because squirrels kind of give off this roundness. I'm going to give her a headband too. Um, kind of like, well, Pip has beads sort of in her hair, um, but I'm going to give her like a little bit of a headband that comes to the back of her head and then kind of like a, a puffy, <laughs> like she's, she, her whole thing is very, uh, cloudy she looks almost like a cloud right mm -hmm. now i'm drawing her she has a crystal ball this is emily again you kind of want to have these very subtle details yeah. that show what animal it is like she has the kind of teeth that sandy cheeks would have right like spongebob so yeah. we know that this is a squirrel in addition to the kind of curly tail um and i would actually probably put that same swirl that's in her tail in her kind of front hairdo mm -hmm to make it more consistent. Yeah, and symmetrical in a way. Yeah, yeah and it's more really symmetrical, cool. so I'm probably gonna fix that right now. Swirls and swirls. Let's start Amy here. Yeah, I'm really excited. We're, we're at such a cool point in the illustrations because we're almost on that precipice at the point where we hit the, the place where she built her own plane, mm -hmm. you know? And it's been so cool because right now, obviously this is the first book with like an antagonist. Yeah. Uh, but it's really awesome to see, one, I think you made the bald eagles like so well. Mm -hmm. I find them to be just perfect characters. <laughs> and I'm excited to see now the scene where like the riverbank comes together to help Phoebe. These characters that I'm drawing right now are, are the ones in the next page. So I paused because I didn't have those characters designed yet. So yeah. they're going to show up in this next page. And I'm stoked that obviously we got the opportunity to film this. This is the first time we're actually filming you live drawing some of the characters. Yeah, I mean... Oh, it's it's fun. It's it is fun. fun, man. This is a. Uh, I gave her sort of, it's more of like a reserved kind of haircut. I'm gonna see what kind of tail. That's another thing about top characters. They all have like unique tails. Um, the beavers have like these giant big tails, and it kind of kind of does have a beaver tail, but it's not. 
that flat sort of patty tail that mm -hmm. a beaver has. It's more of furry, um, and in comparison to its body, it is pretty big. Yeah, because that's actually the biggest differentiator between the red panda and the fox. Yeah. Is like the size of the tail. So um, this is Amy. Uh, let me just zoom it up here. Yep. Um, again, <laughs> that looks great. kind of unassuming to differentiate her and the beaver characters um, and the squirrel characters. I kind of gave her like a monotooth. You have Jenny, which is the bee. Jenny would be the second insect character in Tot. Uh, the butterfly being the other. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So usually I give them the, the eyes, a compound eye look. Uh, but this time I'm going to add like some eyelashes to see how that looks. So this time, Obsessed. usually when I make uh, an insect character in Tot, well, this will be the second time, but I, I feel like the rule is the antenna kind of has to be the hair. Yeah. So for the last one, I sort of draped the antenna on either side to look sort of like pigtails. This time it's sort of tied in a ponytail, an antenna ponytail, <laughs> but it's just to convey the femininity of the character in combination with the uh, eyelashes. I decided to I'm give her like an oversized shirt yeah. that had stripes on it, which of course will be like her bumblebee. very bold yellow, yeah. Um, and because this character is also representative of the bee foundation to like super be it i gave her like a bee amulet mm -hmm. <laughs> feel just which by the way is actually a thing that the bee foundation has next we have katie which is a goat with the judge gavel katie so katie is a powerful force she's one of those laughs you don't need to hear the joke you're gonna laugh because she's laughing mm -hmm. she loves to coach and yeah. help people and like see people succeed but she'll also keep it 100. Mm -hmm. this is katie at least how i imagine her yes <laughs> So uh, I guess the idea here is sort of incorporating jagged lines into the hair to show that she's kind of rough and energetic. Uh, her eyes are obscured, um, which is very similar to the alpaca character in the yep. first book. And Mary. Yeah, which I thought because they are similar types of animals, it'd be you know, just a good, uh, consistent Yeah, like a pseudo light motif, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't really shade in the uh, gown, but you can kind of imagine that it's black. She's holding this gavel. Uh, and then, of course, I gave her, like, those little carrot horns, which are kind of cute. Yeah, they are. That's um, really cool. Again, I try and make the gender of the character obvious if it needs to be. Katie is a... a oh, wow. Yeah, so I, what I did is I tried to have... Goats have different types of ears. Sometimes they have, like, long, droopy ears, according mm -hmm. to Google Images. So I tried to make her ears that come down either side of her look like long hair. Yep. Uh, so, you know, I could tell that this is a female judge. Uh, and I gave her sort of like pointed almost elf shoes <laughs> yeah i noticed but they that. would also be black as well i, do I wanted to, i like to give maybe the tough more energetic characters a lot of spikes and angles we have lauren now yeah right. lauren is the most <laughs> explosive energy <you> have. <laughs> all like, these characters are high energy yeah she, no, no, lauren is the most high energy yeah. person that we've ever met so this is lauren <laughs> i kind of made her uh I don't know. Now that I draw, like drew her, she sort of looks very fifties ish. I try to give her like sneakers cause she's jumping around. So you have like these four points on her anatomy that point up. The tail's always pointing up ears. and there's the hair always points up. Yeah. And the ears. Yeah. That, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Kangaroo's ears are always like very vertical. Mm -hmm. uh, and the pom poms seem as though that they would be a mainstay on this character. Yes. I actually think it'd be fun to draw her picking up something and kind of using the pom-poms like pot holders like yeah. she doesn't take them off <laughs> yeah. like you never ever see like her actual anatomy she just can just magically catch stuff with the pom-poms uh, 100 needs to happen yeah that's really good call if i had to go back and i might change this later maybe i would not give her an apron and actually give her overalls um and just have like a big pouch with the overalls in front of it yeah i think that's a good call Sort of, uh, yeah, and I think it's maybe cool because, yeah, no characters, uh, maybe one character has overalls. I think it might, it might be, uh, maybe I don't know, but yeah, I think this looks better. Yeah, it I does, yeah, I love cool. that. And it's, it's also like a, like a bubbly person would rock a fairy bat, you know what I mean? Yeah, and overalls. Yeah, that's a win. That's definitely a win. <laughs> a win. <laughs> yeah, so it's cool. Um, so we have Lauren out of the way now, we have Nicole rabbit who is a runner yeah nicole does like spartan races and stuff like she's super serious about her mm. athletics so we're pretty much done nicole here uh so again 
the idea of using ears as sort of hair. That's cute. Bunnies, so cute. they typically have either the droopy ears or mm -hmm. like the really tall. Like you know, stand up guys. Stand up. And I did that before in a, a previous design. Yeah, uh, I like this. Oh, I almost forgot to give her buck teeth because that's what bunnies have. Now we have Jim. Koalas have such a unique look. Mm -hmm. This is Jim. Uh, yeah, that is Jim. That's, that is Jim. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wanted to um, give him sort of a curly look. Yeah. And uh, it sounds like, you know, he's a guy who is very professional. He's a lawyer, so he has his pants tucked in. Yeah, but he's, he's a teddy bear. Well, yeah, but he's a teddy bear. Yeah. You know, he just seems like, even though he's professional, he's got a nice watch on, I gave him a little gold bracelet. Yeah. It's a different, I gave him a little polo. Yeah, and um, I love his nose. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, koalas have huge noses that yeah. are very weird. So prominent on their face, like almost yeah. like a beak. Yeah, it looks like an avocado. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of what I was thinking about. There you go. So Jim's out. Um, Sarah's mom, a different, a different colored Shetland pony. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about Sarah's mom? She was a teacher. Here's a picture. She's wearing a sweatshirt that says empower women, empower women. Like that's Sarah mm -hmm. and that's her mom. Interesting. So she's got glasses. I was literally about to ask, does she wear glasses? Yeah, she does. Cool. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that could be the differentiator. Yeah, I love drawing the characters in Todd that have glasses. Yeah. It's like a sleeveless hoodie with a yeah. little shirt underneath. Yeah. And then the Shetland pony sort of hair pattern that I gave Phoebe was straight. Yeah. This one is a little more like wavy. So it's like wavy hair in the back and then wavy tail. Now we have the last character, which is Sarah's dad. A well, capybara. technically you're Shiba Inu. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, uh, me too. Yeah. But so Sarah's dad, a warm guy. Yeah, this is Mark. I don't Mark think I've Mark. ever given a top character a graphic tee, but I just thought to give him like yes. a smiley face. Um, <laughs> high black socks, and then I'd probably give him the top shoes, but in green. Yep. I'm uh, just like all green. Cool. I don't know why, but I yeah. just I feel like that would fit.